Hello guys, welcome to GoatCon. This video is on how to make this kind of lock screens for our app. Such screens can be used to password protect our app. And it kind of look cool. I made this video just to let you guys know on some of the features or cool things that we can do on App Inventor even though it is limited in many ways in terms of UI interface. So this is basically a lock screen where we can enter our password and on clicking submit takes us to the next screen of the app. So let's jump right straight into the designer tab of App Inventor. So this is our designer tab. In this video I won't be taking you through the entire steps from scratch as that would just be increasing the length of this video and it may be quite boring. So here I would just be giving you the highlights of the entire position. You can pause the video anytime to get a more clearer picture. So we start by using vertical arrangement which acts as the base. Then we add password text box component. We also have used many layouts like this just to give some space between different components. For the purpose of entering password we have used button and labeled it with numbers from 0 to 9. We have arranged them in tabular arrangement to make it look in this way. We have inserted submit button which is used to submit also a reset button to reset the already entered password if you have typed it wrong. So these are the visual components. Coming to the non-visual components, there is a notifier to give the warning dialog box if one entered the wrong password. And we also have used TinyDB which is used to store the user entered password. So let's get to the blocks tab. The program starts with screen1.initialize block. In the block, we first defines a variable of tinydb tag password. This variable is what stores the user entered password. The initial value stored in it would be null. Next, we set the text of password text box to that stored in tinydb variable password. Therefore, on the initial screen, it would show the initial value that is nothing. Then we add functions to the number buttons. We use the when number one button dot click block. We define it with when the button is clicked store value one in the tiny db variable password. Then we again set the text of password text box to that of the tiny db variable password. Similarly, we define buttons from zero to nine so that each button is clicked and it adds the respective number to the tiny db variable password and changes the password text. Next is the submit button dot click block. Here we insert an if statement to check whether the get value of the password variable is same as that of our password that is here 782. If true it opens the screen too. Otherwise it calls a notifier which opens a dialog box with ok button and an error message. Next is the reset dot click block. When click it just resets the value stored in tinydb variable to null. Then we set the password text box text back to the new value in tinydb variable password. That is, it resets the password. That is it guys, we are done. If you have any requests or questions, please feel free to comment. For more videos on MIT App Inventor, check out MIT App Inventor playlist on my channel. Hope the video was of some help to you guys. Have fun.